Obama hacked Indiana elections while Mike Pence was governor. Barack Obama ordered the Department of Homeland Security to hack Indiana's state electoral system almost 15,000 times when Mike Pence was governor. According to a new investigation, DHS officials attacked Indiana's elections with 14,800 scans between November.1, 2016, to December. The attacks are the second confirmed assault by the Obama administration against states that rejected Obama's attempt to increase federal involvement in state and local election systems. DailyCaller.com reports, members of the National Association of Secretaries of State voted Saturday at their winter meeting to oppose the designation. They are asking President Donald Trump to overturn it. Mike Pence was also Trump's vice presidential elect during much of the period covered by the DHS scans of the Indiana system. Indiana Secretary of State Connie Lawson, the incoming president of the association, told the DCNF Tuesday that, We know that between November 1 and December 16 we were scanned with about 14,800 scans, nearly 15,000 different times. The state's IT team traced the intruder to a DHS computer's IP address. The same DHS unit attempted 10 times in 2016 to hack into the Georgia electoral system. Federal officials are barred under DHS rules from trying to penetrate a state system without the express approval of the state. Neither Georgia nor Indiana approved the DHS scanning attempts. The DHS Inspector General has launched an official investigation into the Georgia breach attempt. Thomas Vili, IT Director for the Indiana Secretary of State, told the DCNF that we kindly declined, DHS, assistance because we were very comfortable in the work we were doing in monitoring our election system. Lawson said she always assumed it was because I was the incoming president of the National Association of Secretaries of State and because we declined their assistance. Georgia Secretary of State Brian Kemp told the DCNF January. 24, 2016, he was suspicious because four of the ten attacks against the Georgia election network occurred as he was about to talk to DHS officials or coincided with his public testimony opposing the critical infrastructure designation. It's certainly concerning about the dates, Kemp said. Kemp hopes the IG can determine if the hacks were timed to intimidate him. Lawson said despite the scale of the scans, the DHS efforts to attack its election system was unsuccessful. Our voter registration system was not penetrated. She said there was one slight penetration on an election website that was actually old and out of date, so it didn't go anywhere. Governmental deployment of IT technology could be an evolving new tool against political opponents or to impose censorship, according to James Scott. A senior fellow at the Institute for Critical Infrastructure Technology, a cybersecurity think tank. Censorship has always been an issue in the brick and mortar world. So, censorship in the digital landscape is simply just transference of methods, Scott said. I think within federal agencies it is possible to imagine that there are some overreaching, aggressive managers. Indiana officials have not yet asked the DHS IG to look at their state's situation. We're taking the matter under consideration, Lawson said, adding that we have sent letters to our congressional folks, our governor, and others to make them aware this happened. I'm very concerned, very concerned. A DHS spokesman told the DCNF that, 
We take the trust of our partners in the public and private sectors seriously and will work with them to address any concerns. DHS does not conduct scans of networks or systems without the cooperation and consent of the system owner. Mark Lauder, a spokesman for Benz, told the DCNF his boss personally knew Lawson while in Indiana and had complete confidence in her handling the attacks. The VP has tremendous faith in the Secretary of State and knows it's in good hands, said Mark. He's sure she will handle it properly, he said.